hello everyone so today i am going to show you all how to open a laptop especially a gaming laptop uh, like the one of msi so i am having an msi gl626 qf laptop it is having gtx 960m graphic card that is a 4 gb memory so as you all know that over a period of time the fan vents over here they get clogged up with the dust in the atmosphere so sometimes the clogging can be very bad and it can eventually heat up your whole system and cause severe damage to your hardwares so it's often advisable to clean up your laptops or pcs once in a while like once in six months or 12 months and we also need to replace the thermal pasting on the gpu and the cpu so let's get started so the most important thing you need to open up a laptop is basically a screwdriver set it is very cheaply available on the amazon i i think purchased it for rupees 100 or something and i have also purchased one thermal paste which is of master gel com company so i have read the reviews about this particular thermal paste online and uh, they are pretty good so i purchased it for almost rupees uh, 400 from the amazon So I will show you now how to open up the laptop. So basically it is having almost 12 to 14 bolts over here. So we will be opening them one by one. So this particular bolt is for taking out the CD player. Make sure to keep all the bolts in the right place and this way the CD player can be taken out. So it's pretty easy. In a similar way we will take out all the other bolts. I think over a period of time the gaming laptops have evolved quite a bit. Now at certain cheap prices also some <coughs> good laptops are available. Earlier I used to have an HP laptop and it was having quite an heating issue. So this particular laptop is having two separate vents for GPU and CPU. So it provides some great cooling. But still some amount, some amount of that dust gets clogged over a period of time okay so I think we have opened up all the nuts okay so this one the factory seal one if your laptop is under warranty so please do not open it otherwise your warranty will be void my laptop has crossed over two years of time and it is out of warranty now so I am opening it for myself So first thoroughly check that you haven't have not missed any of the bolts because if you will try to pull the plastic part out with the bolt then it may damage them. Okay, so 
now we have to remove the plastic clips on this part for this I'll be using this so you can start from any other place See once it starts clicking so it opens up quite easily. Now you see the clips are out here. So now I have removed the clips from the front of the laptop. Now on the back side also we have to remove the clip from this particular area like this. As I said, always check that you have removed all the bolts, so one of the bolts is remaining here. Okay, so <coughs> these three are different type of bolts, <coughs> very small. I forgot to open them. That's why I said never apply force while you are removing this. The things will come out on its own very smoothly if everything is done right. So here it is. So the laptop is now open and you can see the beauty of it. These are the two fans, one for the GPU and one for the CPU. This is the installed SSD over here. So now This is the processor over here. Open the bolts for it. Open the, all the bolts for the GPU plus CPU unit at once because it will be taken out in one go. Apart from these bolts, there is some sticky material between the motherboard and uh, this heatsink. 
it just sticks it Okay, so actually these things are connected to the fans as well, so we have to remove the bolts for all the fans too. So, See all these inside parts they are very delicate so <clears throat> never just try to apply more force on any part if you feel that something is not coming out like watch it carefully where it is getting stuck instead of applying a lot of force because it, because it may damage your inner hardware and you may not be able to repair that on your own especially if the laptop is out of warranty. So this is how the whole, whole of the heat sink it comes out. So now I have seen that the fans they are connected to the motherboard. Basically their power supply. So I have to remove that power supply too. Because it is not letting it to be out. So see these are the this this particular small thing over here. Now we can see here and this also. So these are the power unit for this fan so always watch <coughs> in which direction it is plugged in so or maybe you can take a picture of it the whole unit before reassembling it so you are sure that you have kept all the parts in the same way as you have taken them out so I will be removing them now I see that the red wire is on the leftmost side and generally these plugs they are made in such a way that they will not fix in the other way around but still be careful about it so here it is these are the small sticky things I was talking about these hold the heat sink unit to the motherboard because all the places they cannot be bolted all the time so now here you can see this is the thermal pasting over here which is slightly wet so now I will be removing this thermal paste and on the processor on, on the uh, graphic card too and then I will be showing you what is the correct way of putting the thermal pastings